Okay, so good day everyone. We are now on the second part of chapter 1 and this is all about bearing stress. So, ang sabi dito, bearing stress is a contact pressure between separate bodies. So, basically, we have two bodies involved here. Okay, unlike dun sa ating compressive stress or tensile stress or also known as our actual stresses, the internal stress is coming from the actual force itself. Okay, so itong bearing stress natin is usually present on uh, plates like this and plates with a rivets connected by a rivets, uh, soil pressure on piers and columns with uh, bearing plates. So, for example, meron tayo ditong column. Circular column, for example, okay? Tapos, meron siyang bearing plate na naka-attach dito sa baba. So, for uh, example lang naman to, so let's consider this as uh, circular column na hindi hollow, okay? And I will apply a force P here. So, meron tayo ngayon diameter. Let's see, this is um, a concrete. Okay, concrete to. Tapos, meron tayong bearing plate here and then a column. So, this bearing plate, let's say with a size of B. Assume na lang natin na this is square. Okay. So, kung sa ating compressive stress or actual stress, we have P all over A. On which, yung i-consider natin area is the area perpendicular to our force P. Which is pi D squared all over 4. Yun yung concept ng ating uh, compressive stress or actual stress. Unlike dito sa bearing stress, okay, meron tayong force P. So, yung force P na to, na transfer dito sa ating uh, bearing plate okay and then yung force na meron dito sa ating bearing plate ire-resist ngayon itong ating concrete so ang magiging area now is the area in contact with our bearing plate and the concrete which is equal to b squared okay so ito na ngayon yung area that will resist our force Okay. So, that's the concept of our bearing stress. So, another example here, meron tayong two plates and it is being connected by a rivet. So, familiar tong illustration na to, diba? This is also present in our shearing stress. Pero sa concept ng shearing stress, if we apply a force here, okay, magkabilang force, ang tendency niyan is magkakaroon ngayon ng sliding of the rivets or mahati yung ating rivets into two. So, that's the concept of our shearing stress. But on our bearing stress, pag nag-apply tayo dito ng force P, and then our um, rivet has enough strength, okay, ang tendency na is mapupunit yung ating plate. So, ito yung top view. Naglagay ako dito ng force P. And then, our rivet has enough strength to resist this force P here. So, ang magiging tendency niyan or magiging result niyan is magkakaroon ngayon ng tearing yung ating plate. Mapupunit yung ating plate. Okay? So, fix lang yung position ng ating rivet. Ang failure ngayon niyan is yung tearing. Matitear yung ating plate. Okay? So, that is the concept of our bearing stress in terms of plates. So, ano yung magiging area na i-consider natin ngayon? So, this is the formula of our bearing stress. Di ba magkamukha sila nung ating normal stress or actual stress? Ang difference lang is meron lang B. The subscript B that stands for bearing. So, ang i-consider natin ngayon dyan is the area projected from the tearing or the area projected from the failure which is equal to the diameter of the rivet multiplied by the thickness of the plate. Napapansin nyo, it is also perpendicular to our force P. 
Kaso, ang yung consider natin is the projected area coming from the tier or coming from the figure which is equal to B multiplied by thickness. Okay? So, paano pag normal stress or actual stress ang yung consider nating area is, example, meron tayo ditong B with B dyan. Okay? So, ang area now is B multiplied by the thickness minus B Yan naman yung area na i-consider natin if we are looking for the actual stress. And this is the area that we will consider if we are looking for the bearing stress. Okay, so let's proceed to our first example. So, assume that a 20 mm diameter rivet join or joins the plates that are each 110 mm wide. The allowable stresses are 120 MPa for bearing in the plate material and 60 MPa for shearing of rivet. Determine letter A, the minimum thickness of each plate and the largest average tensile stress in the plates. Okay, so meron daw tayo ditong uh, bearing stress that is equal to 120 MPa. Uh, shearing stress that is equal to 60 megapascal and the diameter of the rivets is 20 millimeter so for letter A uh, we will determine the minimum thickness of each plate okay so gamitin natin yung uh, given na shearing stress shearing stress is equal to V all over A tama so, we have 60 newton per millimeter squared is equal to yung ating force P or V. Kailangan natin V. And then, pi all over 4 V squared. Tandaan, shearing tayo. So, the area that is parallel to force P or yung ating V is the area of the rivet. Okay? So, V is equal to, so our V is equal to 18,849.56 Newton. Then, for our bearing stress, so it is equal to PB all over AB. So, yung ating P is just same with our shearing force. Okay. So, it is equal to 18,849.56 Newton. So, yung ating area now, yung projected by the tearing. So, ito yung punit. Okay. So, lagay natin dyan. Para mas uh, maintindihan or mas gets nyo. Ayan. So, the projected area is this one projected area which is equal to diameter multiplied by the thickness of the plate. So, 20 uh, multiplied by T so our T is equal to 7.85 millimeter. So, ito yung sagot natin for letter A. And for letter B, anong tinatanong sa letter B? The largest average tensile stress in the plate. So, tensile stress naman tayo. So, we have P all over A. So, yung P natin is 18,849.56 Newton. So, pag tensile stress, ano yung igagamitin nating area? The area that is perpendicular to force P, which is ano? So, kung nag-apply tayo dito ng force P, so, this is the area that we will be considering. Okay, minus, ma-minus natin ngayon yung projected uh, area from the tier. Or, uh, yes, projected area from the diameter. So, we have here uh, 110 multiplied by the thickness of the uh, plate, which is 7.85. Okay, minus D multiplied by T, tama, which is 20 multiplied by 7.85 so stress now is equal to 
26.68 newton per millimeter squared or 26.68 mega pascal. So that is our answer for letter B. So for example number 2, a lap joint shown is fastened by 4 3 fourth inch diameter rivets. Calculate the maximum safe load P that can be applied if the shearing stress in the rivets is limited to 14 kilopounds per inch squared and the bearing stress in the plates is limited to 18 kilopounds per inch squared. Assume the applied load is uniformly distributed among the four rivets. So, meron tayong itong two plates with a thickness of 7 8 inch. Okay. And it is being connected by four rivets. Okay. Meron nga tayong shearing stress of 14 KSI or kilopounds per inch squared. And then bearing stress of 18 KSI. So, ang pinapahanap dito is the maximum safe load P. Okay. So, gamitin natin ngayon yung ating shearing stress. So, we have B all over A. Yung shearing stress natin is 14 KSI or 14 times 10 raised to 3 pounds per inches squared. Missing yung ating B or yung P. And then, uh, what will be the area? So, the area that is parallel to our force P which is equal to the area of the rivets which is pi d squared all over 4 multiplied by 4 pieces okay 4 pieces so meron na tayong uh, d diba which is equal to 3 fourth so this is 3 fourth therefore our shearing force is equal to 24,740.04 pounds or we can say that this is equal to 24.74 kilopounds or kips okay kilopounds or kips okay so meron tayong value ng B and in terms of shearing stress uh, bearing stress so we have P all over A this is equal to 18 times 10 raised to 3 area so ano yung consider natin the area that uh, projected from the tearing so we have 4 multiplied by thickness 7 8 multiplied by the diameter which is 3 fourth so our P is equal to 47,250 pounds or 47.25 kilo pounds so what will be the final answer or the maximum safest load that we will consider so the answer is 24.74 kilo pounds Okay. So, bakit? So, bakit ito yung consider natin? Because if we apply the force of 47.25 here at the plate, automatically masisira agad yung ating rivets. Kasi ang kaya lang na resist ng ating rivets for the shear is 24.74 kips. Okay. So, the maximum safest load now is 24.74 kilo pounds. So, both uh, 24.74 kilopounds, uh, walang failure sa ating rivets, and also walang failure na mangyayari sa ating uh, bearing plate. Okay, so let's proceed to example number 3. A 7-8 inch diameter bolt having a diameter at the root of the threads of 0.731 inch is used to fasten two timbers together as shown. The nut is tightened to cause a tensile stress of 18 kilopounds per inch squared in the bolt. Compute the shearing stress in the head of the bolt and in the threads. Also, determine the outside diameter 
of the washers if the inside diameter is 9.8 inch and the bearing stress is limited to 800 pounds per inches squared. So, lagyan natin ng label yung mga um, parts nitong ating illustration. So, meron na tayong 7.8 inch diameter bolt. So, ito yung ating bolt. Ayan. So, it has a diameter of 7.8 inch. And then, the root of the threads has a diameter of 0.731 inch. So, ito daw is 0.731 inch root of the threads. And then, uh, it fastened two timbers together. So, ito yung ating timber 1 and timber 2. The knot is tightened to cause a tensile stress of 18 KSI. So, hinigpitan daw yung ating knot that causes a stress of 18 KSI sa ating bolt. So, it has a stress of 18 KSI. Nung hinigpitan yung nut, nagkaroon ngayon ng tensile stress sa ating bolt which is 18 KSI. So, now, compute for the shearing stress in the head of the bolt head of the bolt and in the threads. So, kukunin natin ngayon yung, yung shearing stress uh, at this portion, yung uh, top part ng ating uh, bolt and also shearing stress at our threads dito sa part na to. Also, determine the outside diameter of the washer if their inside diameter is 9.8 inch. So, ito yung mga washer natin. Ayan, washer. So, kung tatap yun natin, ito washer din to. So, if we draw top view, ito yung magiging nut, di ba? And then, uh, nandito yung inside diameter ng ating washer. Okay? So, this is 9.8 inch. So, pinapahanap ngayon yung outside diameter. Outside diameter. If the bearing stress is limited to 800 pounds per inches squared. Okay. So, unahin natin yung um, shear at the head of the bolt. So, yung uh, tensile stress daw natin is 18 KSI. So, we have P all over A. So, we have 18 times 10 raised to 3 pounds per inches squared is equal to P all over Kung mag apply tayo dito ng P. And take note, we are in tensile stress. So, anong gagamitin nating area? So, top view, this one. The area that is perpendicular to our P, which is equal to pi all over 4. Anong diameter ng ating bolt? We have 7, 8. P squared. Pi d squared. Therefore, our P is equal to 10,823.77 pounds. 10,823.77 pounds. And then, for the shearing of the head of the bolt, head of the bolt, so we have V all over A. Our V is 10,823.77. 0.77 pounds and then ano yung magiging area remember shearing yung pinag-uusapan so the area that is parallel to our force which is ayan. so ito yung magiging area parallel to our or resisting area that is parallel to our force P which is equal to the circumference multiplied by the thickness or ating pi d so, yung ating diameter is uh, 7, 8. Thickness is 1 half. Therefore, shearing stress at the head of the bolt is equal to 7,875 pounds per inches squared. So, ito ngayon yung shearing at the head of the bolt. Okay. So, proceed naman tayo sa threads. So, we have V all over A again. V is 10,823.77 pounds. Ano yung magiging area? Dito tayo. 
the area is also equal to, ganyan din yung magiging itsura, which is equal to circumference multiplied by the thickness. So, we have pi 0 0.731 multiplied by 5.8. So, the shearing stress at the thread of the bolt is equal to So, it is equal to 7,541.04 pounds per inches squared or PSI. So, yan na yung hinahanap nating dalawa. So, let's proceed to the outside diameter of our bolt. Or uh, washer, I should say. Outside diameter ng ating washer. Okay. So, ito yung magiging top view niya. Gamitin natin yung bearing stress. So, we have PB all over AB. Kasi, yung force na meron dito, itra-transfer sa ating washer. Okay, para hindi ma-damage itong ating timber. Nilalagyan ng washer uh, to minimize yung magiging effect uh, pag tinaiten o hinigpitan yung nut. Okay, so uh, yung magiging uh, silbi ng ating washer is to protect yung ating timber from the damage that will uh, cause whenever we will tighten yung ating uh, nuts. Okay, so transfer ngayon yung ating force P dito sa ating washer. Therefore, we have uh, 800 pounds per inches squared. Yung ating P is 10,823.77 pounds. Our area now is this one, which is equal to pi all over 4, the outside diameter squared, minus pi all over 4, the inside diameter, which is 9,8 squared. Therefore, the outside diameter is equal to 4.3 inches. Okay. Okay. So, let's proceed to example number 4. The last example for bearing stress. So, the figure shows a roof truss and the detail of the riveted connection at joint B. Using allowable stress of 70 megapascal and a bearing stress of 140 megapascal, how many 19 millimeter diameter rivets are required to fasten member BC to the gasset plate and also member BE? What is the largest average tensile or compressive stress in BC and BE? So the first step here is to determine the forces in member BC and BE. Pinapahanap dito yung BC and BE. Okay. So, at joint C. Joint C. So, we have here uh, BC, PBC. We have also here PCE. 96 kilonewton. And we have here PAC. Okay. So, makukuha na natin agad-agad yung value ng ating force BC which is equal to 96 kilonewton. And then, if I will pass an imaginary line here. Okay. So, meron tayo ngayon dito ng arrows. So, we have here Ayan, our force BB. Also here, our force BE. PBE. And then, yung ating PCE. Okay. So, let's take a moment at A. Let's take the summation of moment at A is equal to 0, clockwise positive. So, we have... 96 multiplied by 4 meters this one minus if tie si BE 
yung kanyang vertical component. So, we have PBE. Vertical component niya is this one, four, six. So, this is three. Yes, ratio and proportion lang. So, we have three all over five. Okay. Moment arm is eight. It's equal to zero. Therefore, PBE or the force at member BE is equal to So, it is equal to 80 kN. So, meron na tayong ang force BC and force BE. Okay, so a member BC na tayo for BC. Our shearing stress is equal to V all over A. So, the shearing force is equal to 96 times 10 raised to 3 newton. And then, yung ating area, BC tayo. So, this one. So, glalagay daw tayo dito ng mga rivets. Okay? To fasten the uh, angle with the gusset plate. Yun yung connections ng ating truss. Okay? This is bolted connection. So, i-coconnect daw natin yung angle or yung member BC dito sa gusset plate using uh, rivets. So, kailangan natin ngayong i-determine kung ilang piraso ng rivets ang gagamitin natin dito. So, we have pi all over 4. Diameter of the rivets is 19 millimeters as given. Is squared multiplied by the number of pieces. So, let's say N. And then, our shearing stress is limited to 70 megapascal daw. So, we have 70 megapascal. Therefore, N here is equal to 4.84 pieces or let's say this is 5 pieces. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa bearing stress. Bearing stress of member BC is equal to PB of BC all over area of BC. So kung i-drawing natin yung cross uh, sectional area nitong BC natin, Ayan. And then yung gusset plate. So, front view tayo ah. Kaya isa lang yung uh, may kita nating rivet dito. So, the angle is fastened by a rivet sa ating gusset plate. So, this is 75, 75 mm and then yung thickness is 6 mm. Okay, so, ilang rivet daw ang kakailanganin. So, what will be the our area here? So, meron tayong 140 is equal to yung ating P, 96 times 10 raised to 3. So, the area would be the area is equal to the diameter of the rivet multiplied by the thickness ng ating angle which is equal to uh, 19 multiplied by 6 multiplied by the number of rivets okay therefore we have here 6.02 pieces or round up tayo we have seven pieces we will choose seven pieces so ito na ngayon yung magiging number of rivets for member bc okay and then for member b e naman same procedure Same procedure lang tayo. So, we have here uh, 70. We have 80 times 10 raised to 3. Um, the area is pi all over 4. 19 squared multiplied by n. Therefore, n is equal to 4.03 pieces or 5 pieces. And then, for our shearing, uh, I mean bearing, bearing for BE so this is 140 
same lang ah, same procedure. So, we have 80 times 10 raised to 3. We have 19 multiplied by the thickness of PE, which is 13, multiplied by N. Therefore, N is equal to 2.31 or 3 pieces. Therefore, for member B, EPPD natin yung mas marami, which is equal to 5 pieces. So, this is for member BE and this is for member BC. Okay, so let's now proceed to the next uh, problem na hinahanap, the largest average. So, let's solve for the largest average tensile or compressive stress in BC and BE. So, sa BC muna tayo. We have P, B, C, and A, B, C. The force at B, C is 96 times 10 raised to 3. And then the area. So, upon opening your steel handbook, may kita natin yung area ng 75 by 75 by 6 is equal to 864 square millimeter. And then 75 by 75 by 13 is 1,780. So, ito yung mga properties na ibibigay ko whenever magbigay man ako ng ganitong problem. Okay, ibibigay ko na lang. So, we have the area of BC. So, ito yung ating angle, di ba? Meron tayo ditong rivet. So, ito yung magiging cross-sectional area ngayon na i-consider. Which is equal to 864 minus the thickness which is 6 multiplied by the diameter ng ating rivet, which is 19. So, this is equal to 128 mega pascal. Okay? And this is considered as tensile stress. And then, para sa ating B naman, so, same then procedure. So, we have here 80 times 10 raised to 3 area is 1780 thickness nya 13 multiplied by 19 so this is equal to 52.19 mega pascal so ito na ngayon yung compressive stress sa ating member BE and member BC